Welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving deep into a fascinating piece of numismatic history, the 1983 Pea Quarter Dollar. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting out, this coin holds a lot of interesting details that you won't want to miss. First, let's set the stage. The Washington Quarter was first introduced in 1932, and since then, it has undergone various changes in design and composition. The 1983 P Quarter Dollar was minted during a time when the U.S. economy was experiencing a transformation. Coins from this era are not only valuable in terms of their historical context, but they also offer collectors a glimpse into the minting practices of the early 1980s. Let's talk about the design. On the obverse, you'll find the well-known profile of George Washington designed by John Flanagan. This depiction is revered for its classic representation of America's first president. The reverse features an eagle symbolizing freedom and strength, which has been a consistent theme throughout the Quarter series. One key aspect to note about the Quarter Dollar 1983 P is its composition. Unlike the earlier quarters made of silver, the 1983 quarters were produced using a copper-nickel alloy. This change was part of a broader move to reduce costs during a time when precious metals were experiencing volatility. Now, let's discuss mint marks. The 1983 D quarter dollar was minted in Denver, while the 1983 S quarter dollar was produced in San Francisco. The mint mark on a quarter can significantly influence its value. For instance, while the 1983 P is relatively common, the 1983 S is often sought after by collectors due to its limited production. If you come across a quarter dollar 1983 error coin, that can also be a treasure. Errors can occur during the minting process, leading to coins with unique features. These errors can dramatically increase a coin's value, sometimes fetching prices in the hundreds in thousands of dollars. So, what is the 1983 quarter dollar worth today? Generally, most circulated examples hold face value of 25 cents. However, uncirculated coins or those in mint condition can command higher prices. Depending on the condition, a 1983 P quarter dollar might be valued anywhere from 50 cents to a few dollars. But remember, if you're lucky enough to find a rare error coin, the value could soar much higher. If you're on the lookout for valuable quarters, here are some tips. First, examine the coin closely for any signs of wear or damage. The more pristine the condition, the more it's worth. Additionally, be sure to check for mint marks on the reverse side, just above the one quarter engraving. This small detail can have a big impact on its value. You should also consider checking auction sites or coin dealers to get a sense of the current of the years. Websites like eBay are great resources for seeing what similar coins are selling for, giving you a benchmark for your own collection. In summary, the 1983 P quarter dollar may seem like just another coin, but it offers a rich history and potential value for collectors. Whether you're searching through your spare change or visiting a local coin shop, keep an eye out for this particular quarter. And don't forget to check for any mint marks or errors that might make your coin even more special. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more coin related content. Share your thoughts in the comments below. Do you have a 1983 P quarter in your collection? What's your favorite coin to hunt for? Until next time, happy collecting.